spoke to people earlier today from both sides, and here's what they had to say. Today, it's still it's kind of triggering and, and makes me emotional. A grant for the area's drug task force sparks a debate over police funding. For hours, people on both sides shared their opinion on the issue. And they're out taking guns off the streets and drugs out of off the streets and preventing violent crime. That is huge, huge, huge to our members, to the city, to everybody. They're not improving our community. And so if we continue to waste money on this institution that in my experience has done nothing but hurt people. A person who wishes to be anonymous says his life changed because of the drug task force handling of his arrest. I just don't see how the service they provide is actually helping anyone. Sarah Moore, the co-founder of the Arkansas Justice Reform Coalition, says there are many others out there with similar stories. Anything that, that works towards trying to build that relationship and create additional transparency is very needed. The money for this grant has already been budgeted, but Moore says with the National Microscope on law enforcement, it's time to reevaluate how it's spent. We've dropped a lot of responsibilities on law enforcement, and I think, you know, it's time to have conversations about um, where do we shift those responsibilities? How do we fund those additional resources in our community? Fayetteville Fraternal Order President Nick White disagrees. He says violent crime is on the rise, and the drug task force is more important than ever. In the future of Fayetteville is really at stake. Sergeant Tony Murphy with the Fayetteville Police Department says that's why the task force is key to keeping all Northwest Arkansas towns and communities safe. From 2018 to year to date, they've dismantled 38 drug trafficking organizations, and those are those are organizations that are trafficking felonious drugs. You know, the 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 meth, the heroin, the cocaine. The anonymous person I spoke to says he's disappointed in the council's decision, but he appreciates them taking the time to hear all sides. Reporting live in Fayetteville, Lauren Craycall, KNWA Northwest Arkansas News.